गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर बैक फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एल्किन एंड एरिल हेलाइट्स वी हैव डिस्कस द मेथड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एल्किन एंड एरिल हेलाइट बाय अल्कोहल बाय फ्री रेडिकल एलोजिनेशन बाय इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक्स सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शन एज वेल एज सैंडबेर एंड गाटरमान रिएक्शन इन केस ऑफ सैंडबेर एंड गाटरमान रिएक्शन देर इज अम मॉडिफिकेशन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बाल्ज शिमान रिएक्शन एंड द बाल सिमान रिएक्शन वुड गिव फ्लोरो बेन्सिन वी हैव डिस्कस इन द लास्ट लेक्चर ओके नाउ वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन फ्रॉम एल्किन एज वी नो इफ एल्किन इज अलाउड टू रिएक्ट विथ हाइड्रोजन हेलाइट देर इज मार्किन कॉफ एडिशन रूल अप्लाइड सो वी वुड हैव वी वुड हैव हेलो एल्किन अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्किन कॉफ एडिशन रूल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्किन कॉफ एडिशन रूल द न्यूक्लियोफाइल और दैलाइड आय वुड अटैक ऑन द Which which double bond on which double bonded bonded on bonded carbon which has more substitution or more precisely we can say in Markinkoff addition rule the the halide or the nucleophile attack to the carbon which has lower number of hydrogen in case of unsymmetric alkene here this is an alkene and alkene is allowed to react with HX so one of the double bonded carbon would add to the hydrogen and other one would add to the halogen and we would have alkyl halide according to Markinkoff addition rule we have one more example this one is propene and propene is allowed to react with hi now we have two carbon double bonded with each other one is ch2 another one is ch the ch2 has two hydrogen while the ch has only one hydrogen so according to markinkoff addition rule the nucleophile or the halogen would attack to the carbon which is which have less number of hydrogen atom so iodine would attack to the go to the ch and hydrogen would go to the ch2 so we have a product ch3 ch i ch3 as our major product which is the markinkoff product and if the anti markinkoff addition would take place then the iodine would go to the carbon with more number of hydrogen atom so we have one idopropane which is a minor product or we can also say it is a anti markinkoff product so in case of addition of hydrogen halide on the alkene the markinkoff addition rule followed but in case of uh, and the, in case of hbr in presence of peroxide the anti markinkoff addition will dominate over the markinkoff addition if in the same example like the propene we have hbr in presence of peroxide we have hbr in presence of peroxide in, in uh, with some amount of heat or sunlight then the peroxide as we have discussed in class 11 the peroxide will produce free radical and free radical react with hbr and give br minus bromide free radical and the bromide free radical would attack on the carbon which has more number of hydrogen and we would have one bromopropane as a major product and two bromopropane as a minor product this reaction is a repetition of the class 11th reaction we have discussed in the alkene in class 11 now again the next reaction is also we have discussed in class 11 the addition of halogen on the alkene if the alkene is allowed to react with halogen like bromine in presence of non polar solvent like ccl4 then on the both double bonded carbon there is one halogen and we have vicinal dihalide since we know bromine in ccl4 has reddish brown color as bromine react with double bond there will be less amount of bromine in ccl4 so the reddish brown color of the system fades or com disappear completely so it is also the reaction is also used as test for unsaturation and it would always give vicinal dihalide now there is some modification if we have cycloalkene and the cycloalkene is allowed to react with bromine or some kind of halogen in presence of carbon tetrachloride solution as we know it is an anti addition and cycloalkene would give the vicinal dihalo cycloalkene and cycloalkene has planar structure So in each plane there is above the plane position and the below the plane position. So if the bromine or the addition of halogen take place by anti-addition manner, then one bromine, the bromine on the one carbon is upward, so the bromine of the other carbon would be downward, and we have a trans-vicinal dihalide. You can see the notes of class eleven. Who he aware we had we have discussed in very elaborate manner. Now this is the main. reactions now if we have the we go to the this example write the product of the following reaction this one is react with hbr so here the markinkoff addition would take place so the br would attack on the carbon which has a less number of hydrogen so br would attack on this carbon 
the number two, and the hydrogen would attack on the this carbon, and we have this product. Okay. Similarly, we have a butanoin, and is allowed to react with HCl. Now, again, Markinkoff addition rate, Markinkoff addition would take place, and the chlorine would go to this CH, and the hydrogen would go to the this CH two, and we have two chloro butane. Again, we have this hydrocarbon. And the hydrocarbon is allowed to react with HBr in presence of peroxide. Now the anti-Markinkoff competition would be dominant one. So the Br would attack on the carbon which is which has more number of hydrogen. That means this CH2. And the hydrogen would attack to the carbon which has a less number of hydrogen. That means this CH. And we have this one, this product. So in all of these cases, the reaction first and second. Follow the Markinkoff addition rule, while the reaction third follow the anti-Markinkoff addition rule as to form dominant product. Since we have discussed so many of reaction, on all of the reaction deals with the preparation of chloro compound or the bromo compound. There are very few reaction which are actually dealing with the preparation of iodo benz iodo iodo compound or the fluoro compound. So there are two reaction. One is Klinkerstein reaction, which is For the preparation of alkyl iodide, and one the other one is Swart reaction, which is for the preparation of alkyl fluoride, and they are known as halogen exchange reaction. That means we have either chloro compound or bromo compound, and this chloro or bromo compound is allowed to react with NaI sodium iodide in presence of acetone. So the halogen would get exchanged by the iodine, and the alkyl halide, that means chloro alkane or the bromo alkane, would give alkyl iodide, and we would have we would have NaX that. X would be chlorine or bromine. The X would be chlorine or bromine. So finally, we have sodium chloride and sodium bromide. Important thing is that the reaction is take place in presence of dry acetone. The reaction is take place in presence of dry acetone. Why? Because in presence of dry acetone, the formation of uh, the 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 byproduct, the NaCl or NaBr, would precipitate out, and this will this will Uh, allow the reaction to proceed more forward direction according to Le Le Chatelier principle. The another one reaction which is actually the preparation of the alkyl fluoride is Swart reaction. If any alkyl chloride or bromide is allowed to react with metallic fluoride such as silver fluoride, mercurous fluoride, cobalt fluoride, antimony fluoride is allowed to react with metallic fluoride, then the halogen exchange would took, would take place and the fluorine will substitute this chlorine or bromine and we we would have alkyl fluoride as our main product and alkyl bromide or uh, so, and the metallic bromide or metallic iodide as a by product now now we move to the some questions the question number 10.2 10.3 and 10.4 would be your homework you have to try to you have to try these questions and find out the correct answer we will discuss the question number 10.5 Now this one is cyclohexanol, and the cyclohexanol is reacting with thionyl chloride. It is a Darzan reaction, as we know, and the best method to prepare the chloro compounds. So this OH would get substituted by chlorine, and we would have cyclo. Uh, uh, we would have chloro cyclohexane. Again, the question number second. This one, the benzene ring has one ethyl group and one nitro group. The UPC name is one ethyl four nitro benzene. Is allowed to react with bromine in presence of heat or sunlight. As we know, the condition is free radical halogenation reaction. And free radical halogenation reaction, the reactivity order is benzylic is equal to allylic is more than three degree is more than two degree is more than one degree is more than methane is more than vinyl or aryl position. Since this CH2 carbon is a benzylic position, and the free radical halogenation would take place of benzylic position is more preferentially than the other position. So the bromine would substitute the hydrogen of this CH2 and give the main product. The question number third, we would have alcohol. Here is two OH group. One is present on the aromatic carbon, this this OH, and one is present on the aliphatic carbon, this OH. And this allowed to react with HCl, and we have uh, and we have subjected to it. So any one of the OH would get replaced by the chlorine. Now the question is which one? So first we discuss this OH. As we know, the OH is a plus M group. So the lone pair of oxygen will undergo the resonance, and during this resonance, this bond, this bond has a partial double bond character. As we know, the double bond is much much stronger than the single bond. So the replacement of this OH is not as much as as much easy as the replacement of this OH. So this OH will replace by the halogen, and we would have our final product. 
Now, this one is a cycloalkene with a substitution CS3 and allowed to react with HA. Again, it is a Markunikov addition rule. So, the nucleophile or the halide would attack on the carbon which is which has less number of hydrogen. This would take place on this carbon and hydrogen would add, add to the this carbon. So, we have a product is 1 ido 1, 1 ido 1 methyl cyclohexane. This one is finclastine reaction. It is the halogen exchange reaction. The bromide would get exchanged by the iodine and we would have ido ethane as a main product. Now, the cyclohexane. And the cyclohexane is allowed to react with bromine in presence of heat or sunlight. Again, it is a free radical halogenation reaction. And as we know, there are the, this one, this carbon and this carbon are the allylic carbon. The both double bonded carbon are the vinyl carbon. And these two carbon are the alkyl carbon. So, as we know, the allylic position is preferential over all other position in this case. So, the bromine would attack on this carbon or this carbon and will give 3 bromo cyclohexene 3 bromo cyclohexene these are the question the question number 10.2 10.3 and 10.4 of the intex question you have to then by yourself write this question if you have any problem then you can message me on my whatsapp number or call me now we are dealing with, now we are dealing with physical property there is very less significance the only thing we have discussed in the class 11 as the uh, molecular mass increases, the melting point and boiling point increases, as branching increases, so the surface area which is in contact between two molecules decreases, so there will be less intermolecular forces which result in decrease in boiling point. In case of uh, aromatic alkene dihalo, uh, di in case of aromatic uh, aromatic dihalo compound, the para isomer is more symmetric, so it would have more melting point than the ortho isomer, and the ortho isomer would have the more mel mel melting point. Now we have we are going to this uh, data. This is the one bromo butane, two bromo butane, and this one is the two bromo two methyl propane. As we know, this one is the, there is no side chain. There is one side chain and there is two side chain. So as the side chain increases, the branching increases. The inter the, the surface area which is contact between two molecules decreases, which result into less intermolecular forces and the less intermolecular forces will uh, ultimately result into the lowering of boiling point that's why the compound which is, which has no branch has melting point 375 kelvin the compound which has one branch has melting point uh, has boiling point 364 kelvin and compound with two branches has, compound with two branches has melting point 346 kelvin similarly in case of aromatic compound the para dichloro the para isomer or the para dichlorobenzene has symmetric structure has high melting point 323 Kelvin whereas the ortho isomer has the lower melting point is 256 Kelvin and the meta isomer has the much lower melting point is 249 Kelvin whereas boiling point is does not vary much their boiling point are don't vary much the 448, 446 and 453 so in case of symmetric structure of the symmetry of the system the melting point affected and if the branching is the boiling point get affected they are the denser compound than the normal hydrocarbon they are the more much heavier than the water and generally they do not get dissolved in water because they are the non-polar in nature or slightly polar in nature and the lower compound are slightly soluble in water so we uh, we have gone through the entire thing the method of the classification of alkyl and aryl halides the method of preparation and their physical property so students uh, uh, i'm giving you some homework please go to the ncrt question regarding these topics the intex question and the question we have discussed please go through it if you have any query you can whatsapp me you can call me okay thank you that will be all